Okay, so the more I think about MASH suplexing that girl, I mean, a crocodile can cry as much as it wants, but no matter what, those tears are still gonna say to me that you're gonna try to bite my head off. And that woman really thought her sob story would work, and honestly, it might have. He is a bit of an airhead. He doesn't really think things through. I mean, how many times has he almost been expelled for murder because he forgot he was supposed to actually stay there and gain all these little coins? But the fact that M.A.S.H., he is fighting for equal rights, and my boy went above and beyond to give scumbags the justice that they deserved. So not only do we get the satisfaction of this scumbag going from, oh, you can't take 10 of these hits, Buddy tapped out at number two when MASH started throwing hands, and the fact that this woman thought she was getting a nice hug only to get suplexed into the ground, her eyeballs popping out of the sockets, I said it before and I'm gonna say it again, this is my favorite comedy anime of all time. For the longest time, Konosuba season 1, that season alone was enough for me to rewatch just random episodes and have a great time. Mashal is my new comedy jam, this show is perfection and even if we never get a season two, like, this would be enough for me to say, God damn, this is the funniest thing ever. I do have a full live reaction to this wonderful episode available on my Patreon, so if you want to see my eyes just jump out of my skull, because I'm like, no way he just did that, you can head on over there because they're supporting. This show is brilliant. I love how they actually give characters other than MASH the time to shine prior to him smacking fools around. Like, Dot as a character, I've come to really enjoy and respect, like, he's a troll, and he's an absolutely extreme personality, as seen by afterwards him and MASH butting heads or getting blinded by the coin. But I love the fact that he, you know, despite getting blindsided by this witch, he ultimately, he was doing what he thought was right. He was willing to not only take the punishment of her, but he also took the extra five for MASH, because he's like, this isn't your fight, I'll protect you. And honestly, the boy held out. It actually reminded me, I'm gonna pull from something probably no one's comparing to, but honestly, it reminded me of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters. If anyone's ever seen the Battle City arc when Joey dueled Merrick, now, anyone who's seen that duel knows Joey, he won, but the only reason he passed out was because it was a whole shadow game going on BS and ultimately his energy was drained and he passed out. That's the same vibe I got when Dot was kind of approaching him, being like, I took your lumps, you think this is enough? And he was just, he was going, and honestly, I felt like, you know what, buddy, you deserve the W in this moment. Where the hell is your reward? You've proved yourself. And that's when, of course, we knew our boy Mash was going to jump in, and they delivered. Like, I assumed he was going to crush the rock magic or whatever the hell he was using to impale everyone, but the fact that they let him get a couple of hits in, just to get the juice going, the endurance up, you know, he, you gotta do your little warm-up stretches before you start pumping iron, and that's basically getting impaled by these attacks for Mash. The fact that prior to that, he throws the cream puff in his mouth just to shut him up, and then to see him get progressively more scared as it goes on. Buddy was around here, smacking Dot around, joking, saying like, oh, you know, you're such a wimp, you can't take this, you can't even take ten, what a pathetic guy you are. Mash comes in, the first punch, look at this image, you can see the bones go into his skull, like, I don't know how he didn't die from brain damage from that punch alone, but every time they focused on Mash, clenching his fist, the veins basically, the veins had veins and the veins had muscles. I'm like, I don't understand how this boy is this juice, but yes, deliver the final blow. This wasn't a moment where I was like, you know, I'm starting to feel bad for him. Like, this is like kicking someone when they're down. I was like, no, buddy deserves this. And that's why the end of the episode, when he gets turned into a doll and kind of killed seemingly, I was like, you know what? <laughs> I mean, as extreme and crazy as that is, I mean, I can't say I really feel bad for you, given you're clearly on the wrong side of the uh, morality there. But Mash, being the brilliant person he is, I love the fact that he literally only thinks of cream puffs. And that's why he gets himself into situations where he almost buries the vice principal alive, or he almost kills people and recognizes like, oh wait, I made a promise that I would stay in school and get good grades. But I love the fact that he can also see honor. Now, it's not to say that he doesn't think Don is a weirdo, he absolutely does. But the fact that Dot was actually holding his own, it, you know, it made Mash come in and say, you know what, now, now that you've tapped out, it's time for me to come in and finish the job. And whether it's the giant scorpion coming in and just like the, <laughs> the cooking lesson in last week, he just slaps that fool away. The fact that every time they thought, like just, I think my favorite reaction meme in this entire show is anytime the character has a face like this, where they're just like, 
it's almost black and white and they're just like what in the actual hell are we looking at is this dude an alien like tricep magic and just the fact that this girl thought her sob story would work to just honestly i'm surprised her neck didn't completely shatter and send her to the emergency room this was seriously the funniest thing i've seen all month just the fact that they somehow managed to top the burying alive joke and they've continued to make me laugh hard but that literally had tears of joy i had to wipe tears from my eyes because i was laughing so hard at what he did to this woman and how honestly i'm just imagining a situation where she actually was innocent and he just considers the fact that hey you know you got us roped into this so i gotta give you equal punishment like Mash is a psychopath and I love it. And I love how, you know, the ongoing joke of Mash not knowing how to open doors, he literally will probably stand there for hours on end probably thinking of like, you know, I don't want to break the doors that push or pull. It doesn't matter, he's going to rip the door off. And after the casual, like, dramatic, here's the villain of the season, he just casually barges in to say, hey, hey, your door's not attached anymore. And Buddy's like, uh, yeah, thanks for letting me know. Like, what do you say to that after your dramatic moment? of turning one of your underlings into a puppet as you're, I guess, holding baby mama. Like, if you couldn't make it any more creepy, apparently that's your mother. Like, what's wrong with you, bro? This show blends story, characters, and absolutely slapstick comedy in the best way i personally seen, and I'm loving Mashal. This shit's a 10 out of 10 if you ask me. Now, comedy, like many things, is subjective. And of course, the hard ways I laugh at this show, not everyone will agree. But I love this show, man. This show just keeps getting better. I love the fact that with the sorting hat, like, that was just brilliant. Instead of a sorting hat, you have, like, a sorting unicorn skeleton. The fact that, you know, a century or centuries, no having no issue placing someone in a house, and then in comes Mash, almost breaks the fool immediately, has to, you know, calm down his magic, which is just his iron grip of death. And I love how... You stumped it. You stumped something centuries old and had no option other than to randomly pull a house out of its ass and say, here's this BS paragraph of why this makes sense and why cream puffs relate to this house. Everyone in the crowd knew that was the most ridiculous jump in logic, but honestly, can you blame them when it matches the character they're dealing with? Whether it's magical entities, the school faculty, or the general bullies of the school, Mash has cream puffs on the mind, and if you do anything to disrupt the thought process of cream puffs, you're bound to be put six feet under, and this show is an absolute comedy masterpiece if you ask me, if my enthusiasm doesn't sell it. Thoughts and feelings yourself though down below, let me know what you thought of that suplex, drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new around here, also be sure to ring that bell of course so you can get notified when I upload on the channel, and like I mentioned we do have a full live reaction available on my Patreon if you're interested, and while you're there you can also get a video shout out. So today we have Bryce Dezangles, Charwick, and Colin. So I appreciate the support, everyone. Please take care and have a good one.